Good morning. Welcome to episode six of the Barbecue Shack Build. It's been a while. Got the main structure on, as you'd have seen in the Brian a couple of weeks ago. And uh, since then, I'll be honest, I've done no more building. The Brian became usable, so I've just been using it. Any spare time. Get off the onions. Get off! Sorry, as usual, dogs causing havoc, chopping the onions. We've got a few bits of veg, onions, sweet corn, potatoes. Can we, honey? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, thought I'd give you a bit of an update. We're, um, as I say, stop building. But today, I've got a day off. I'm gonna try and get a little bit more done. Um, got the roof to trim up, um, which may or may not get done today. Need to get some guttering on. Got the electrics to finish, the lights to finish. I've got a couple of lights in and working, but there's still more to do. Um, we've had a slight change of what? We've had a slight change of plan as well. What? What do you want to tell me? Holly wants a word. Meant to be getting your dinner, weren't you? Said we're coming down to get your dinner. What do you want? Get your dinner. <laughs> you know what are you doing? I'm gonna just go and feed the dogs, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, dogs fed, and uh, we'll get back on with it. So, what I think I'll probably do today, first job, um, is a slight adjustment here. Because originally, I did say, Originally the plan was to have units down here, a bit of a kind of bar area with stalls at this side, but one, it would have been a little bit narrow, but I was okay with that. However, after using the bry and realizing how far that door comes down, I'd have been stood too far, too close, I'd have been pinned back up to this word top. Um, so, what we've decided, and since using the bike, I put that table over there, and it actually works as a nice workstation. Um, it's way too big, obviously, um, but if it was just two, maybe three boards, I'd give me plenty of room to work. Um, I could put my fridge and my freezer underneath, which would be ideal. And we've still got plenty of room the other side for a table for people to sit at. It's quite nice to kind of cook and serve over to people directly. So what I'm doing with this space now is I'm gonna put show you show you hang on zoom out Call it you've had your dinner you've had it um so somewhere in the middle there I'm gonna put another two posts same as these and that'll be kind of my entrance in and then either side, I'm just going to put some sort of trellis or panels or maybe some more of these boards. I don't know yet what I'm going to fill it with. I just have kind of a two little fences. Um, and then probably put some uh, boxes on for me to put me the herbs in. Um, so that when I'm cooking, I can just grab them straight away uh, without having to come over to this area. Um, so yeah, if I can get the two posts in today, and a bit of a wall up there and then potentially finish off the lighting. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, not bothered about going mad. As I say, it's a day off. Had a weekend in Dublin just gone and still tired, still recovering. Can't do it anymore. Um, so feeling a bit rough. So two posts, bit of fence, finish the lights. I'll be well happy with that. But yeah, as you can see, I've started using the bry already and with no storage, no shells or anything up, it's just an absolute tip. It's a mess. So, it's annoying me. But, we're getting there. Um, all the bits that I need to finish, obviously I need to clad all this. Shells, 
get the sinking, get the power actually connected up properly. Got the hob which was going to go there, but obviously it's not going to fit, otherwise it's going to be stuck in that corner, which isn't ideal. So I've decided the hob I'll put on the end of this this extra bit and putting on. I may need to extend the roof slightly. Don't know. Might just about get away with it to be fair. Uh, yeah. So there's absolutely loads to do still. And again on this bit here, because I'm going to put a wall there. I'll just extend that bit of worktop out. I need to get the worktops on. Ugh. Still so much to do, but it is usable. So I've been using it, which means now progressing in terms of finishing it, it's going to be even slower. It's trim up around there. Loads to do. But we're getting there. And as I say, now I can use the bry. I'm reasonably happy. There's all that rubbish down there to get rid of. Might buy an incinerator today and get get burning all them old fence panels and stuff. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe trim that hedge to make it look pretty. See you later. Good afternoon. Um, so, in typical me style, not actually achieved much today. Just hoping to get my two, two, two extra posts in and uh, at least my lights, all my lights on. Got a couple on. Uh, but, uh, but not done what I wanted to do. I managed to kind of get the sink in situ. Those boards are just resting up there. Uh, I have got one post in, which is nice. So this end, this end here, I think I'll put trellis on there or something. I don't want it completely blocked off, otherwise there'll be no light. Uh, I've cut the first layer of worktop around the sink. Got my hob in, that's not it. So the electric hob, decided to put it in that corner. It's a little bit, out of the way, but that's kind of what you want really. Still plenty of room to be able to get to it, stick a pan on and boil some water or some spuds and whatnot. Um, and then obviously there is another layer of worked up going on top of that, uh, which will be cut nice. Um, and then cupboard under the sink will be access to the water pump, the electrics and everything. And then this here, be another big cupboard there for storage so yeah i was going to do a uh, part six of the build update and i'm just going to uh i'm not putting it out yet because all i've done is well basically nothing so i'll wait till i've done a bit more and i'll add it onto this and then i'll do part six so i don't know why i'm telling you that because you'll just see it's part six but just so you know this was recorded before i did anything else but that's what i've done today um, in between time, I've been out with the dogs, been out with the family, cooked some lunch, um, and we've got people coming tonight. Just making some nice short rib tacos, barbacoa. Uh, that video will be out this week, soon a bit. Uh, good afternoon. Thought I'd give you a little update. The shack build. I've done a few bits today. I feel like I made a little bit of progress. Um, so oh, it's just been so, such a mess. Honestly, I got the, the bry work and then I've just neglected everything. It's got dead messy, it's a building site. Been negging me out, so I've done a few bits. Um, I'll show you what I've done. I've got my fridges kind of in, sink kind of in, hob kind of in, um, worktops kind of in. I've done. Look, I've got a bar. Still needs trimming up and painting and all that sort of stuff, but we have a kind of bar. So the carcass I've just built out of, out of wood, obviously. Oh my God, there's a bit of smoke going next door. Don't start, you've not barked once today. Stop. Um, so the carcass is out of wood, 
and then as you can see I've just boxed it in with marine ply I think it's called RSB3 don't know what that means but I think that's what it is what are you doing Holly so that's in and around the other side hey <laughs> look got my drinks fridge Drinks fridge is in. He's stocking up, but it's in. Nothing in there, get out. I've got my little fridge freezer in. Some frozen fish. Get out. Thank you. So again, needs trimming up, needs all the electrics putting in. It's just running off an extension lead at the minute. But it's in feel happy it's in and actually when all that mess has gone we'll have a lovely view decided for the worktops for now at least I'm just going with this OSB double them up nice and thick um, and then I'm just going to clear varnish them and then I've got cladding to go around all the sides in between all the gaps um, where that is there, that's going to get cladded this side and then on the opposite side I'm going to put a, uh, a door in to have a cupboard where I'll probably keep my charcoal and things like that. But currently it's just down here and that's like everything else. Under here needs a little bit of tidying up, I've just got to take this post out, it was just a temporary post really. Um, move that over and big cupboard door there, some nice shelves in there that give me a good bit of storage. Under the sink, we'll have the water heater for the tap. As you can see, I've cut this worktop now. Just sits on top of the top of the sink. That all needs plumbing in. Under here, I just put that on to protect it. But under there, look, I've got me, got me electric hob. Again, needs wiring in. The feeds for the power and the water. Still down there is the water and the power. Just need poking through. I've got a little consumer unit to go under there, which will then feed various sockets around the walls under there for the fridges, the hob, etc. Lights. Still done nothing with lights really, other than put these two spots up. So one there, one there. LED spots, cool and white uh, light. Warm light and white light, should I say. Um, again, just to give me some light in the braai when I'm cooking and wash when Cherie's washing up. So, yeah, another little update. Not mass has done, but it is now starting to look at least a little bit like an outdoor kitchen stroke barbecue shack. I'm pleased with it. The, uh, as you can see, the workmanship is not the best. But I'll reiterate, I am not a joiner, a carpenter. I sell cars, so I'm reasonably happy with how it's coming on now. These two extra posts in. I might put a little gate thing in there. And there, we're going to have some sort of quite tight trellis, trellis and grow something up it. Um, but I might put a gate here just to, in the winter, just to give it a bit of protection. Um, and then the idea for the openings in the winter is to have some hooks and just have some sort of clear tarp or something that can just hang down. Give us a bit of extra protection if we need it. But we're not fussed about the weather, we'll be sad. There you go, that's the update. And uh, I'll upload this. If you're watching the series, thank you very much. Seems to be getting quite a few views, which I'm shocked about. I thought I was just going to put this on, mainly for my own benefit, but no, it's uh, had like 500 views. It's amazing. So thank you very much. Cheers.